happy Friday and happy end of November. So that means monthly favorites video. So let's <laughs> just do this. You know how this thing goes. So first one we mentioned and things we're looking forward to this month was trying the Jerlique products that the company so generously sent us. I tried the Balancing Care Day Cream, the Night Cream, and the Advance Herbal Recovery Advanced Serum and the face wash, which I don't have here, but that's on me. I'll cut to a picture of that. Anyways, I really liked this, and it's funny, I wasn't actually going to try this because it's for like youth defense, and I was like, well, I'm like 22, but whatever. <laughs> and the night cream I loved, I was like, I'll just give this a whirl as like a night cream. This is bananas awesome. Freaking love it. Youth defense, who cares? Like. It's awesome, it's got like 18 botanicals, extracts, vitamins, essential fatty acids. This is awesome, as is the day cream. It's really good because I'm pretty oily, but it's not too greasy, very nourishing, and the oil balancing face wash that I tried is also amazing. So overall, I'm super jazzed about the Jurelique stuff, and it's cool because like you know how some products you put it on and you feel like you feel like you're like medicating your face or something like it feels like you're like Ugh, yeah. working on something you know what I mean I don't know if that makes sense but this stuff it just feels like you're just helping your skin be itself which is awesome you know what I mean it's just great dig it favorite mine is Jalik as well I still have mine in the boxes which is deceiving because I it's did good for you, I man. did try these this month. But like I said in the last video, we talked about this in like the bottles are super breakable and I would drop them. Anyway, um, I tried the Citrus Purifying Mist and really loved it, which I wasn't really surprised by because I really tend to love mists to begin with. But something that I did with this is I put it on my feet um, because like I like to take really, really hot showers which isn't really necessarily good for you, but um, when I get out of the shower, my feet are tend to be like hot and like they get red and all this stuff. So I just spray some on my feet when I'm out of the shower or if I'm just like running around after I work out and my feet have been in my shoes and they're hot and sweaty and nasty. Feels really, really good on my feet. And I really liked how it, it, you know, it felt. And it was good on the face too, so. I would recommend this, I really liked it. The other product I tried from Jalik was the Fruit Enzyme Exfoliator and I really loved it, which I was kind of surprised about to be honest because I don't really like exfoliators, but the Jalik has natural ingredients and they're not really harsh on your skin and it felt that way, like kind of yeah. like Bridget was saying, like even for an exfoliator, it, it didn't feel like after I washed it off, my face is gonna be super red and yeah. dry and all that stuff. So yeah, it just feels like there's stuff. It's just like helping your skin do what it needs to do. Like if that makes any sense. Yeah. My next favorite is a dry shampoo from Suave. Now Suave makes me think of like mousse from the '90s or something. Oh, like I've never, yes. I never really used Suave stuff, but needed a dry shampoo and I was in the grocery store, which there isn't like the biggest variety of dry shampoos. There was like a $20 one and then this beauty for $2.99. So I was like, I'm gonna go with the $2.99 option. And it's great. I like it. The only thing is it leaves more of a white cast than like the Not Your Mother's or Batiste or one of those. So it leaves more of a white cast, but I'll just like sort of like rub it in with my fingers and then it, it goes away after I brushed out and stuff. But it smells really like fresh. It smells fruity, fresh, $2.99, dry shampoo, love it. Thank you, Suave. My next one is pretty much my favorite out of my favorites. I'm so excited about this. The Woodwick Cinnamon Buttercream Candle. This is my first Woodwick candle. I've never gotten a Woodwick before. Like crackle. It was a little bit expensive, but I'd pay Sometimes I'd you can find them in TJ Maxx or one of those places for cheaper, but they're usually not the big sizes. They're like the smaller ones. Yeah. We actually were at Kohl's and all these candles were on sale and I thought, because these candles were on the same stand that all the other ones were, I thought they were going for the same sale price, but we got to the checkout and it wasn't on sale. But who cares? I got it anyway. Oh my gosh, it's so good. My husband really likes it too, which is a bonus that he likes the apartment mm. smelling like cinnamon buttercream. So my next one I mentioned in the things I was looking forward to this month, and it actually was a favorite. It's the book, Where Do You Go, Bernadette? And it's not like a typical novel, like there'll be like emails and then like, you know, like third person. It's all sort of like mixed up, but it's still telling one story. 
really really enjoyed it it's a great like airplane weekend read kind of book and really recommend it let me know in the comments if you've read it and what you liked about it I'd love to know so yeah good book my next one is bare minerals concealer the concealer specifically I used bare minerals in high school I think it was and then stopped for whatever reason I think it's because I got bare minerals at the bare minerals store and bare minerals can get really expensive really easily but I mentioned in a previous video that I've been trying to wear less on my face um, and I said that because I was pregnant at the time and you're not supposed to wear well I'm still pregnant but <laughs> I didn't say why I was trying to wear less on my face you're not a lot of makeup products aren't really good um, while you're pregnant, the stuff that's in them. So um, I read that Bare Minerals is good, so I checked it out. I got this at overstock.com actually for a cheaper price, so it wasn't that steep. And just a little bit concealer on days where I don't wear a lot of makeup. That's pretty much all I put on and I really love it. Good really, really, know. really excellent coverage too for a powder. Oh, Highly it's recommend. a powder. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's really, really great. Good deal. So my last beauty one, this could probably be like a perpetual favorite and this tin is actually pretty beat up because I've had it for a long time, but it's the Rosebud Salve and you can see how much I've used. Oh, this stuff is like the best lip balm maybe ever. I know that's a big statement. And I know a lot of people are like, I use Chanel Creme de Rose. Dude, that stuff is like $45. This is not. Chanel Creme Still smells de Rose. like roses. Makes your lips look beautiful. Again, smells like roses. It's great. I love it. Always my go-to lip balm. And it also says in here that you can use it on diaper rash, blemishes, detergent burns, and rough cuticles. So I feel like, like that's 37 uses. Yeah, that's how you know you found a good product too, when you can use it for more than one thing. I feel like it's yeah. just kind of like, it's good. They sell this at like Urban Outfitters or Francesca's or like online. Like you can get it pretty much everywhere. Love it, favorite lip. How much is that? Like two dollars, three dollars, depending on where you get it. It's like oh, two that makes yeah, bucks. obviously that makes sense. Yeah, two or three bucks. Don't need no Chanel forty-five dollar lip balm for lip. That blows my mind. My lips but are not anyway. made of gold. <laughs> Although they'd be so cool if they were. Gosh. Okay, my last one is food. Shocking. Um, these cookies are so delicious. They're from a company called Rumi's Passion. And they're based in Plymouth, Michigan, but they sell a lot of like the local markets and local stores in the southeastern Michigan area sell their products. Um, best gluten-free cookies in the world. I'm just, it's like, they're so freaking delicious. Specifically the soft lemon cookies. We were talking about this before, like, you know, some lemon stuff is really overpowering and tastes fake and like, just like a lemon candy or whatever. These perfect balance of just like cookie and lemon. So good, I'm in love. My mom sent me these recently oh. because I'm pregnant and want cookies. <laughs> so thanks mom. Um, so my last one is a fashion favorite. Basically just tunic tops. Like any tunic top with leggings and boots has probably been like Bridget's uniform for the month of November. Um, these I used in my brown boots video. They're both from Target. This one's just like very like art. Like I feel like a, a painter or something in this. It's very long and I just really like it. And then this one's more like flower child. Also from Target. I got them on clearance for like 12 or 13 bucks or something. And then I'm wearing another one today. Anyways, I'm clearly obsessed with tunic tops, but I love them because you can throw them on with leggings and boots and then wear whatever the heck accessories you want. And I just love it favorite. Do you have one more? Or is that it? I do have one oh, okay. more. Um, it's an app on my phone, so I don't really know how to show it. I mean, I guess I could just like insert a little picture of it or something. But um, Cartwheel by Target. Oh, yeah. Their Target app um, is amazing. Basically, it's an app where you can go through and save coupons. And it. I love it because it's so easy to use. So I go on the app, scroll through whatever coupons are on there, you know, save whatever coupons I want. And then when I go to checkout, there's a barcode that you just bring up on your phone and you scan it. It's like a Starbucks card. It's no so clipping. easy. There's like, yeah, and if I forget coupons, cause sometimes I'll cut out coupons, but I'll forget them when I go to the store. This is always on me. And Target's one of those places where like, you go to get kind of just anything, mm -hmm. like essentials, household stuff, clothes, whatever. Oh my gosh. 
Save 285. My last purchase. Cha ching, cha ching. And it, it's cool. It's like an app too. So they have like badges you can earn and so much. You know, it's just like. They like gamify it. It's good. I really recommend it if you're a avid Target shopper. Like we know you are. <laughs> okay. So those are our favorites for the month of November. Let us know in the comments what your favorites were or if any of these are your favorites. That would be cool. <laughs> Um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you dig it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also, click the link below for the Facebook cookbook thing we're doing. You could be in a cookbook and also win big cash money prizes. Not cash, just a prize <laughs> that we use cash to get for you. Um, definitely check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.